knock, knock. Who is it? Who is it? Hi. Hi, lady. Oh, of course, no, no, no. Hi, come here. Hello. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy. Lady, go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy. Yeah, go crazy. Come on. Go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy. Good girl. Oh, you're going crazy again. Go crazy. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Good morning. Today we are going to run to Walmart and pick out our next as seen on TV item or whatever we find that looks fun. Yep. So whatever we find, we're gonna see if it is worth it or wasteful. Hi, can I get a medium hot chocolate with an extra pump of chocolate and a blueberry muffin? Yeah, you said a medium hot chocolate with an extra pump of chocolate. Ch yep. And a blueberry muffin. Yep. Do you want that warmed up today? No, thank you. I was like, what does it mean, like energy drink? You all straws? No, that's okay. Here's that muffin. Thank you. I need to explain something about City Brew. So usually when I go to City Brew. Okay, 100% of the time when I go to City Brew, I get a hot chocolate. I don't drink coffee. I like hot chocolate because it's cold out. Sometimes I will get, oh, do you need that hot chocolate cooled down a little bit for a child? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I pulled up to the window the other day and they go, you said hot chocolate, right? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, oh, okay, good. Like they thought they messed up what I had said because I'm an adult. Sometimes, no. But I get, you want a medium hot chocolate for the child? I'm like, I want a medium hot chocolate for myself. And yes, if I had a child, they'd get a medium too, not a small. And it really just makes me want to punch them in the face. They're so mean about it. Does, does your child want whipped cream? I'm like, I want the whipped cream. Yeah, it is really frustrating. Anyways, I always get a heart attack and a half hot chocolate with an extra pump of chocolate because they. That's another thing. If you don't order it with an extra pump of chocolate and sound like a sugar addict, it, it's just warm milk. They like don't put chocolate in it and then charge you an extra 15 cents to make it taste chocolatey. You can also get mom some stuff. Yeah. Darby says that the as seen on TV section here is pretty good. And it's Walmart, so it's gonna be a lot less expensive. Oh, also when you go to City Brew, don't let them warm up the muffin. It tastes so good cold. One time I, they asked if I wanted it warmed and I said no and they did it anyways. That um, almost happened today. Yeah. Because you had to ask yes, like three yeah. times. But then last week I went there and the blueberries were like completely frozen. Oh, so, within the muffin? Yeah. Wow. It's going to be busy in there. I'm just going to park right here. Um, so yeah, my Sometimes way. it's too frozen. Okay, I'm gonna eat super quick. We can make ASMR. Isn't that what it's called? When people like make noises and it's supposed to be soothing. So they'll go like. Oh, I'm gonna Why would we do that? No, I'm just saying you can make ASMR with you eating your muffin people will like listen to those noises. Ew. Yeah, they do it like, they'll make sounds like that, or like. It's really gross, I don't like that. Yeah. Okay. I can do the interactive cat toy one. Oh my gosh, how do you pick? Whose feet are that dirty that they need that in their shower?
Hey, Darb. Yeah. Jesus, are you okay? <laughs> okay, we've been in Walmart for like a long time, and we've been buying. We stuff have that we, probably we have things buy. that Christmas gifts. Yeah, a lot of Christmas gifts and some random things too that we don't need. So we found what we're gonna roll with today though. We found this like Christmas aisle. So we're gonna try out this little elephant one. There's a dog and a cat. It's five dollars. Oh right there. And we're gonna see if it actually makes it look like an elephant. We probably I don't know maybe for dessert tonight. Yeah we'll test this out. There's some really cool stuff here. Though. This this one thing this thing seems s'more stepping kit. It includes chocolate. Oh, it has everything. <laughs> we'll see what we decide on. Both seem really great. Okay, so as you saw in the last clip, we spent a long time in Walmart. It was fun though. Um, yeah. Now we are gonna go pick up Lady, go to our parents' house, and then we are going to watch the Montana State University versus University of Montana game. So yeah, stay tuned. It's the next day and we are about to make some pancakes. I wanted to read this yesterday and see like how in the heck... Okay, how do you cook a pancake in that? Just think about it for a minute. Do you set that on top of the grill? I think you put it right on the thing. Okay, I tried not to read it yesterday because I wanted to figure so, it out. So pancake mix set, non-stick coating, stay cool handle. You have to still flip the thing. Though. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I was talking to Leo about. I'm like, I don't understand. Yes, I think we have to have like a normal one. That's what I kind of thought. I was trying to... I didn't read this yesterday because I was like, no, we need reactions. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so in a bowl, combine the mix. Mix until smooth. Heat the griddle or the pan until hot. Pour pancake batter into the pan when the top bubbles break. Flip pancakes. So you have to dirty two things. Yeah. This thing and a normal pan. Okay, but it was five dollars and it came with pancake mix that says it'll make five, six pancakes. Six pancakes so. We just need one cup of water. Smell this thing because you're kind of scared of it. I know. We have enough for six mistakes. Five mistakes. Yeah. One perfection. Go ahead and flip it. The moment of truth. Oh, that does not. Maybe it needs cooked more, but that looks terrible. <laughs> there she is. She was supposed to look like that. Let's put it off. Okay, so. Okay, so messy. Cause here's like half a pancake. So then you just sprayed it again. Maybe less pancake than last time. A little bit more, but just covering the bottom. <laughs> Do 
try number one. You can like see those ear outlines. Kinda. Barely, yeah. But if you didn't know it was an elephant, you wouldn't no, know. No, it just looks like a not good circle. Try two. Extra bubbles. I think it's burning. These things suck. Careful. Oh my god. Okay, so. <laughs> this is the worst. So that's try number two. <laughs> Maybe cook it on a lower heat. I think it needs a lower heat for a longer time. All right, let's see if I can get this one. Okay, let me spray that pan again. I don't trust myself. Oh, yours is so much better. I think it was just a lower heat. This doesn't look like an elephant no, though. No, it doesn't. Okay, hold on. Try number three. Less messy. So put less in. Uh, it did get more outline. You can like see the trunk. Oh, it's so smoky in here. Not worth it. <laughs> if you want animal shaped pancakes in your life, this is not the route to go. It really isn't. Is it looking open too? <laughs> okay. okay, well, for $5, we got pancake mix. I mean, $5? No, because you can get like a whole box of this quick for five bucks. Yeah. No, this wasn't worth it. Not worth it at all. I think our general consensus is... I'm glad it was only $5. <laughs> not worth it. Pretty wasteful. Yeah, but... It was like in the Walmart gift section to where you could get it for like a coworker or like a white elephant... <laughs> white elephant? A burnt elephant gift exchange? Don't yeah. do it. Yeah, it's not worth it. But fun? Yeah. So, but if anyone wants this walk, this pancake pan, it's up for grabs. I'll give it to you because I don't want it. Okay, we'll see you in the next episode. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Nope, that just came out. <laughs> they do know. I tried.